Hi everyone, before this video begins, I have a super exciting announcement for you guys. This Sunday, November 19th, I will be launching my second channel, The Bird's Eye Report. This is going to be a type of channel that's going to focus on history, geography, geopolitics, and stuff like that. A type of content that I wanted to make for a very, very long time. And uh, I've been working on this channel since May or June. Put a lot of effort and a lot of passion into it. So uh, it would definitely mean the world to me if you guys went ahead and checked it out. Of course, the link will be in the description or in the pinned comments. Some of you may already be subscribed since is going to be a rebranding of the Red Hawk Vaughn's channel, but uh, definitely check it out. It will mean so much to me. The first video is about the formation of Italy. After that, we have videos about, you know, how water affects geopolitics, potential countries that could unite in the future, historical figures like Count Dracula and stuff like that. So I'm definitely sure a lot of you guys are going to be interested in that. So yeah, link in the description and uh, go ahead and check it out. That's all I have to say about that. Oh, I'm such a dumbass. I missed it. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge. The challenge where you play every nation you for in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week ladies and gentlemen we're back with the nation of Norway. Norway is a nation located in Scandinavia and as you all know we do start off as a junior partner of Denmark which also has Sweden as a junior partner and Holstein as a vassal. But that's not really a problem because after the updates that Sweden, Norway, Denmark all of these guys have received in Alliance of the North it's actually pretty easy to break free from Denmark as Norway, whether through getting other guys to support your independence or allying Sweden and other guys as well, it's not going to be a problem breaking free from Denmark at all. But that's actually where the problems with Norway start because after we break free from Denmark, we're in a super, super bad position right here. Norway is an extremely poor country, maybe the largest country on the map that is this poor. So getting the ball rolling and getting the game started as them is actually pretty tough until we do some expansion, which is not going to be that easy because we are way less powerful than Sweden. So even if you want to do colonizing, even if you want to do expanding, money is going to be the real problem as Norway. Norway's ideas focus on naval and colonization focus, things starting off with plus 25% national sailors and plus 10% ship durability, finishing off with plus 20% trade steering. And in the meantime, we have plus 33% colonial range and we can recruit explorers and conquistadors. And then we have a colonist, which means as Norway, you can colonize without even getting exploration and expansion. Then we have plus 20% morale of navies, minus 10% ship cost, plus 10% global trade power, plus 10% production efficiency, and plus one yearly prestige, along with plus 2.5% discipline, making it a double idea. But what do we do as Norway? Well, I decided to continue our little, you know, sort of mini achievement series over here in A to Z. We've been doing quite a lot of them recently, and Norway does have two unique achievements, one of them being Norwegian wood, where you need to conquer all of the tropical wood provinces in the world, and there's no way in hell I'm doing that one. You couldn't pay me to do that one because it's basically a world conquest but the other achievement as Norway let it go requires us to move our capital to the Canada region over here without forming a colonial nation so we still have to be Norway and then we also need to have no land over in the region of Scandinavia so a pretty fun and mostly chill achievement but it does make it hard that we're so poor as Norway and that uh is gonna take quite a bit of time so without further ado, let's jump in as Norway and uh, try to let it go. All right, all right, here we are as Norway. Now, obviously, we're going to look for people to support our independence. That might be Novgorod, Burgundy, Lithuania right here, Sweden as well, most likely. And uh, the two missions we need to do right at the start are uh, Norwegian allies right here and expand the military. After that, I think it's going to go pretty slowly. We'll see if we'll fight Sweden. We'll see if we'll fight someone like Scotland or Denmark, maybe even Novgorod or something like that. So, uh, yeah, we really don't know the situation, but uh, let me get started by doing some estate stuff right here of course we start off with these pretty bad nobles privileges right here that we do need to get rid of and uh, yeah that's pretty much the start right there so uh let me start improving with uh i don't know burgundy and lithuania i guess just like that and uh then oh uh, i don't know all right estate stuff mostly done obviously it didn't give anything to the nobles because they're super influential big loans but we're losing a lot of money even at the start right here there is uh not a diplorip guy nor improved relations guy how lucky is that uh force limit is 10 right here what i'm gonna do is get rid of these two cab regiments because they're pretty expensive as you can see now we're making a little bit more money and uh, let's get the free company up right here uh we're also gonna recruit a general immediately three shock that's pretty good we're gonna get those mill points back from here and uh yeah these are the boats uh five Five lights, five transports. Let's get the lights, put them in Trondalog. Let's get the transports, put them in Trondalog as well. And uh, then I'll start building up some galleys right here. There we go. There's uh, the galley construction beginning. I'll uh, improve with Sweden a little bit too. Uh, just uh, got the successor of Vladislav here. Uh, Poland chose the guy instead of Lithuania. So yeah, 
Okay, just got Lithuania to support me. Sweden has already gotten Lithuania, the Teutons, and Burgundy. Uh, is there anyone else I can get? Because we do need to declare immediately. And actually, uh, we want to be the people declaring here. So, Sweden, Holstein, Bremen, Lithuania, just Lithuania. Actually, no, I actually want to let Sweden declare here. Even though I won't get any land at that war because they'll be the, you know, the nation that declares. Um, yeah, I do think we should let them do it. Yeah, and there's the alliance from Sweden. At least we won't be losing stab like this, I guess. I don't know. It's gonna be us. Yeah, easy win versus Denmark. They're only allied to Bremen. Bruh. No, actually, Sweden is preparing to declare. You know what? I will be the declarer here. That, there's there's all of us, right? Just Holstein and Bremen. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Uh, let's take that. Now we get claims on nothing. But here we get claims on stuff. Yep, there we go. Uh, let's go here immediately. Okay, so obviously we're gonna win this war very easily. I'm gonna try and take as much as I can here for myself. Starting ruler is uh, actually decent. What do we go with here? Admin, I guess, huh? I can only uh, afford like one advisor, barely. Actually, no, I'm gonna chill with advisors, man. Y you can't underestimate how horrible the economic situation is as Norway. Well, we gotta hire this guy. Skill 2, 75% cheaper. Okay, we've 100% to Denmark. Obviously, we're gonna get uh, independence right here. And uh, I got pretty lucky this campaign uh, with the fact that I managed to get a lot of occupation, uh, whereas Sweden usually nabs these. But uh, we're good on that front. So obviously, I'm gonna get war reps here. Super important. Uh, then let's get this. And uh, the Teutons and Sweden are mad. But uh, look, I I actually don't really care. <laughs> Because we don't we don't really want to be allied to Sweden, do we? We want to fight them later on. So this is what I'll take, I think. I don't know. Do we take a little more right here? That's a lot of A, dude. Yeah, that might get me coalition. Yeah, I'm satisfied with this for now. Then we'll take some money. My war participation is 9%, so I won't really get that much money. But uh, yeah, there it is. That's the war with uh, Denmark done. Alrighty then. Uh, some new provinces. Novgorod is losing to Muscovy. I can make a claim on them, potentially expand there. And uh, there's a mission, win our independence. We get claims on these things and uh, PUCB on Denmark, which we really don't care about. We don't want to PU them. We want to conquer their stuff. All right, let's go home and try and stabilize a little bit. Oh, another mission? Which one? Ports of the North. Yeah, there we go. Sure. Skill 1, 50% cheaper guy? Sure, I'll take him. Now, Sweden's rivals are these guys. Obviously, all of these guys suck, right? So... They should be able to get new rivals pretty soon. I'm going to try and ally those rivals. This is what I'm improving with right now. Just no reason at all. Uh, yeah, still losing money, right? Not that much, though. Okay, we're, we're in a decent spot here. Oh, I'm such a dumbass. I missed it. I missed the peace out on Novgorod, bro. I didn't even pay attention. Muscovy didn't even take that much. And now Sweden popped it off for the conquest of Karelia. That's that right there, right? If I decline, I'll lose prestige and diplorep, which will stop me getting allies with... You know what? First, I'm going to set a bunch of provinces of interest here. And then, you know, we'll see what we'll actually get to occupy, I guess. Oh, that's Muscovy, huh? Yeah. Let's do... Let's do that. Frick. Yeah, Sweden, like, insta-peaced out. They they obviously didn't give me what I wanted. Yeah, that's a major mistake on my part, man. They're not even breaking the alliance, even with such low trust. Yeah, there's no point in this. I'll, um... Hmm. Poland. Yeah, I can link with Poland. I wonder... What I'm wondering is if I can ally Burgundy, then create enough favors with them to make uh, them break their alliance with Sweden, but I don't think it's possible. And by the way, I know some of you are thinking we should have gone for that, like, Norse event to try and flip Norse as Norway, but, but bruh, even if I get all the requirements right, it's still just so impossible to get it. It would be a waste of a run. I'm, I'm not going for that Norse thing. No way. Finally got tech four in every category. We can start uh, developing the Renaissance a little bit in this province. It is the cheapest one, I guess. So, uh, yeah, let's let's bump it up a little. Burgundian succession just happened. Luckily, Sweden didn't get it, man. Uh... Okay, but now Burgundy may collapse and Sweden may suck. This could be a time to strike. Of course, I gotta choose Frick. Oh yeah, there's an insta declaration. France on Burgundy. Sweden is in this too. Uh, I should have broken that alliance earlier, man. This could be the moment. Depending on how long this war lasts, this could be the moment. Poland would help in that. I need to start carrying favors with them. These are my allies, by the way. Oh, uh, Austria just declared on Burgundy too? Because they inherited their subjects. Sweden uh, also accepted to be in this war. God, this truce can't run out fast enough, bro. Two more years. Two more years. But even if that war ends, right, they'll they'll still only stay allied to Stettin. Unless they insta-get a big ally, I think we can still do it. Just doing quick checks here. This is the mill access for Sweden. I'm guessing they actually haven't gotten their armies down here. That's why they're still at, you know, 13k and stuff like that. But yeah, Burgundy isn't going to join. I might get beat up here until Poland comes, but 
we should be able to take them after that. And by the way, I know I haven't said it by now, but the game plan is obviously to go exploration expansion, even though we got this, right? Uh, you know, move uh, sort of down here, colonize stuff along the way, then move our capital to South Georgia, which is a province in a colonial region, but a colonial nation can't get it, which means then we'll be able to move our capital to Canada. And then the plan is to just... Uh, give away all of this to like subjects or lose it in a war that's how we get the achievement let's let me let me try and look for it here yeah there it is let it go okay so england got called into this they're austria's ally uh they might do some landings over here we'll see or the mill access thing may change still hasn't okay truce with sweden is up and here's the thing i just saw a swedish 5k stack walk through poland so oh that's the only stack that's it that's it uh let's declare for uh, Fort. Oh, what's Tio? Yeah, I'm in the south here. I should probably start in the north. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's declare for Tio hard right there. Uh, boom. Oh, Lithuania will come in as well. Easy. Easy, 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 easy. Yo, uh, I think I just got a pop-up that Saluzzo is preparing to declare a war on France because they've just been coalitioned big time, man. Uh, they did end up PUing Burgundy. Oh, uh, yeah, they're gonna get declared on, man. They're fighting Austria right now, I think, as well. Yeah, it's still the same war, the Austrian uh, Burgundian Liberation War. Uh, they declared for the HRE provinces. So, France getting coalitioned, I think it would be kind of funny. Okay, I've beaten up Sweden, and I'm thinking this is gonna be the peace deal, man. These are like provinces to connect my land. This is like the copper mine as well. And this is pretty much to stop Muscovy from fighting them. Uh, it is quite a lot of AE, but I won't really be fighting anyone else, man. It's just gonna be Denmark in a few years, so. Yeah, I don't have the admin points to court it up either. The situation is pretty bad. Uh, we did get lucky with the Sweden War, though. But aside from that, things aren't going that well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to peace out for this. Let's get warps to and all of their money. It's not really all of their money. Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with that, I gotta say. Muscovy has warned me. Who is that valid for, though? I guess just Novgorod, huh? Yeah, just Novgorod. Whatever. They're so tiny that I actually don't care about fighting them, so we're good. By the way, France did get coalitioned. <laughs> Wurzburg declared, not Saluzzo, but uh, you love to see stuff like this, don't you? Yeah, well, money situation is trying to get fixed right here. I think as soon as we core this up and then at least half state them, we sh and uh, lower autonomy, the situation should clear up. Embrace the Renaissance just now, took out loans, and at least I can sell it to like uh, Poland and Lithuania. Lithuania actually gives more money? Wow, okay. Okay, so after full coring this down here and then half stating some other things and lowering autonomy, uh, our economic situation is starting to stabilize. Uh, we're about to fight some rebels now, so let's build up our army uh, just a tiny bit. Can we get new burger loans? No, we can't, but if I take a railer loan, I should be able to pay off my last few burger loans. Yeah, we'll do that. Then I'll pay this off. Then we're going to go ahead and get uh, new burger loans. I know I don't have the cheaper advisor privileges too, so let's just give them out at least to the burgers and the, and the clergy uh okay now let's go ahead and do this right here uh actually i'll bump it up twice and uh then we'll go ahead and hire this guy and this guy and then i'll go ahead and uh, pay off some actual wait no i'll build some marketplaces i'm gonna ally goatland just so they don't raid me Ooh, i'm also gonna give the burgers uh grand orthodox autonomy yeah i don't want to concern myself with this Here's the strategic marriage event where we give uh, Orkney and Shetland over to Scotland. Uh, we're not going to give this. We might end up fighting Scotland later if... Oh, I was going to say if uh, France is unwilling to join and they aren't, man. They aren't. Yeah, I'm not ready for this right now. I think I want to hit Denmark first, but yeah, there's definitely opportunity for it if England doesn't eat them up. You know, I, I usually don't show events where I, where I lose admin or stab or whatever, since it's pretty common, but I've gotten the minus 50 admin event. This is, I'm not kidding, the sixth time. I've lost 300 admin points on this, bro. Poland's calling me into what? Oh, they're fighting Austria, sure. Yeah, well, we're still here. Let's fight Novgorod. They're only one province. Muscovy annex the rest of them. Why not get cola? It's been 84 years. Uh, I kind of wanted to give out strength in here. I am gonna. You know what? I am gonna. Okay, well, we're done with Novgorod. Oh, finally Admin 5, man. Finally Admin 5. Jesus. Obviously exploration. And like I said at the start, we don't really need exploration or expansion because we got these, right? But this is to get it done faster. Okay, let's declare on Denmark here for their capital. I'm going to call in Poland and Goatland. Let them do the talking. 
At this point, I'm also trying to do this mission right here. Uh, search of iron and copper. Yeah, we, we still need to dev like um, four provinces. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And this is the peace deal with Denmark along with war reps and uh, as much money as I can. There we go. Right now, just chilling, you know, going through ideas and stuff like that, working on missions, trying to get the money situation sorted. But there's the event in search of iron and copper. Uh, nice. We just gained less tech. Excellent. Declaring on Sweden here, but I might not actually take land. I kind of want money, you know. <laughs> Either way, let's declare for Bergslagen, huh? Yeah, we're pretty much done here. Okay, decent expansion. I'm really happy we're getting to fight Sweden. I'm actually going to swap to curtail noble privileges here, mainly for the money. By the way, I didn't show this, but I uh, I am exploring already. So yeah, this is the Canada region. This is where we'll have to move our capital. The plan is actually to keep jumping, you know, uh, down south to South Georgia, like I said. And then we, we got to go back up <laughs> over to Canada. But we'll move our capital before giving uh, everything away, obviously. But yeah, so far I've spawned a lot of copper provinces, man. This is the only one that we start off with. I got all of these. Of course, you lose admin or diplo points depending on the choice in order to spawn them. But they're super worth it because, uh, you know, copper is so high value. Just start my golden era, by the way. There's a colonist. All right, native policy. I'm going to go with uh, native coexistence because I, I know I want to speed things up in this as actually counterintuitive, but uh, I, I really don't have the money to send uh, guys over. So let's take a look at colonial range. Yeah, I can only do Greenland. So yeah, let's do it, I guess. This won't really help us out that much in colonizing, so I'm just going to go centralized monarchical here. Let's do a little war with uh, Denmark, maybe even finish them off potentially. Yeah, I think I'll full annex Denmark here. Nice, 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 nice. Gold will be produced over in our capital. Perfect, dude. All right, this is what we need to save our uh, campaign here, man. Well, we're getting pretty bad rulers and heirs too, so I'm not really good with uh, tech either, but at least this should fix our money. All right, this gold is exactly what we needed. And I just got Gold Rush, you know, the event as well. So uh, yeah, let's pay off some loans. Maybe new burger loans. Yes, finally, there's new burger loans. Um, What do we do here? They're pretty big, actually. Might as well save up for Admin 6. But Admin 6 is so far away. Yeah. Horrible rulers, by the way. Bad Admin points gain. Very bad. Or uh, any points gain, for that matter. <laughs> now, why did Muscovy go ahead and do this? <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, I guess I'll finish these guys off. Okay, so colonial range is increasing. I guess we do want to keep going down, right? So let's just go to the furthest province down that we can go to, which is uh, this one right there. Uh, we're done with Sweden too. I'm guessing. I guess I'm gonna full annex them. I don't know if I'll end up fighting Muscovy. Maybe if these guys help out, but it's not really something I'm focusing on. Just got this guy in order to trigger radical reforms, and there it is. I actually love it. <laughs> Look, I can't even fire him. I, I uh, hired him so recently. But yeah, now let's get rid of them, get those points, and get uh, these boys back. Awesome. Look, I'm so behind on tech, you guys. Uh... <laughs> You guys don't even believe me, man. Yeah, we're definitely not going to be fighting Muscovy there. I like the Bohemia and Austria. Well, they're actually not that strong, but I feel like it will be more annoying than it needs to be. Even though everyone would actually join. Well, everyone. Not everyone, but... Yeah, we still have less troops. There's expansion as well, finally. Oh, I can vassalize Goatland. Sure. Let's give these guys Grant New World Charters. It's so weird that I haven't gotten rid of these uh, starting nobles thingies. I, You know, in, in previous Norway runs, I've gotten rid of them fairly quickly, I gotta say, but... Yeah, I guess that's just the way uh, it is this campaign. Not feeling too powerful uh, until we got the gold mine, if I'm being honest. But now, uh, now money's real good, actually. Whoa, major war here. Very major. There we go, I stabbed up. I can actually finally revoke one of these, just as I mentioned. And which one is worse? Huh, this one's pretty bad for the legitimacy, huh? It's been pretty bad the entire campaign. But yeah, let's revoke Noble's Court. Um, and go fight these guys. Just got another colonist, and actually we can go way further, so let's go to the furthest one possible. That's 494, this one is 493. Yeah, so this is the furthest one. Uh, after this, we'll probably be able to do South Georgia. I think we're getting pretty close here to uh, accomplishing our goal. Now, I still don't have a province over in Canada. Okay, England has started colonizing here. They have dropped the price of fish, but no like massive expansion. So yeah, pretty much put my capital anywhere in this region, man. And then move it over there. Uh, meanwhile, let's, uh, you know, let's continue improving. Oh, shout out Naples, I guess. Meanwhile, yeah, let's continue improving our country over here. I'm really w working on uh, getting our economic situation really, really sorted. 
Maybe we can also get to the unique uh, Norwegian tier one government reform if I can revoke Danish nobility as well. Now, obviously, Muscovy is busy with this, right? And if I want to declare on them here, Austria actually wouldn't help out, which is really good. Lithuania and Poland would help me. Bohemia, Theodoro, this should be fairly easy to piece out, man. Let's declare for, I don't know, Vaster Boten right there. Why not, yo? Meanwhile, it's time for a tier five government reform. Obviously, I'm going to go lanes for the church. I've been trying and, you know... Honestly, I've been having really good relations with the Pope the entire campaign, taking advantage of all the papal thingies right here. So, uh, yeah, I do want to continue to do that. I mean, well, I've forgotten about my colonists, but this is still as far as I can go. So I, I got two more free guys. So let's just do Greenland over there and let's just do like whatever province in Canada that, that we're going to move our capital to. Let me try and find a good one. This, I guess, a center of trade or something like that. Eski. Okay. You know, I know like Vinland was right here, but listen, uh, <laughs> England was already there, all right? The next best thing is, I guess, is uh, provinces right next to it. So yeah, let's do Chisedek. There we go. I think we're pretty much done here. So let's take everything over here in Scandinavia. Let's get war reps as well. Huh, I was going to get that. Uh, yeah, let's just get like these things that I already have uh, states in or whatever. And then let's take a bunch of money. Sweet. Uh, I guess we got all of Scandinavia now pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we have to give it up. Well, almost all, except for Goatland. Nice, there's colonialism as well, I guess. wonder if I can sell it to anyone. Let's just do a quick check here. Nope. Hey, we can revoke Danish nobility as well. Perfect. Now we can take uh, this mission, legitimacy, and there's the tier one uh, Norwegian monarchy government reform. And we got the parliament as well. Let's start a debate. Uh, what do we do here? What's going to be the most beneficial legitimacy colonist seller increase? I feel like I don't really need an additional colonist here, man. Uh, let's just go with this one. There's Norway, Denmark as well. Advisor discount, blah, blah, blah. No longer need admin tech 20 to form Scandinavia. Actually, I can do it now. I don't know if this stops the achievement, honestly. So I'm just not going to go ahead and do it. Well, hold up. Why is, why is, uh, what you call it? Hispaniola occupied by the Knights. <laughs> okay. What's happening here? Castile declared on the Knights and Venice, the Knights, and they occupied Hey, this colony here is done. Can we see South Georgia? We can see it. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Okay, so this is the game plan now. Colonize this province. Move our capital here. After that, that will enable us to move our capital here. And after we move our capital here, basically release a bunch of nations. I think Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Iceland, of course, to feed them a bunch of provinces. So we have no provinces in Scandinavia. And after that, that should fulfill the requirements, right? Starting as Norway, have your capital in the Canada region. We'll do that. While not owning any province in Scandinavia, we'll do that. And while not playing as a released subject. So yeah, uh, we didn't release ourselves as Norway. We didn't become a colonial nation or whatever so uh, should be completely valid man now there's got to be some sort of bug here because i completed this mission but now not all of the provinces in the trondelag area owned by norway is in a region core development eight that's trondelag okay so there's three provinces here that has Yemtland. okay now it's done now this one should be done as well it's not what the f i have workshops i guess i need manufactories as well all right well i won't be doing that mission then you know the funniest part i still haven't done two burger agendas <laughs> since the start man it's they're just so annoying oh colony in norway uh in norway and canada is done let's let's do another one keep in mind we can't do five because then a colonial nation will form so yeah colony in greenland is done too you know what why why not make a colonial nation in uh, brazil there's the fleet of Norway. Lots of nice bonuses. Uh, I need to start stacking admin here because, you know, moving our capital to South Georgia is going to be like 300, 400 admin points. And then once again, three, 400 admin to move it up here to Canada. So, yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to stop colonizing at this point. OK, so uh, South Georgia is finished. We can go ahead and full state it. And then to move our capital there, we need 437 admin points. OK, now let's uh, let's uh, not do anything with admin points then. <laughs> to our debate. Uh, let's see. We can do this one, I guess. Placate clergy. Sure. Clergy. Sure. Nobles. Sure. Clergy. Sure. Four people influence manpower. Navy tradition. People influence done. But a wonderful time for a ruler to die and for us to lose. Stab. All right, let's get a level three guy then. Dev is pretty decent. I never checked this out so far. Okay, there's 443 admin points. Let's move our capital to South Georgia and excellent. Now we're not a centralized monarchical bureaucracy. Whatever, let's just go with expandable court. Doesn't really matter. And now we could move our capital over 
to uh, Canada over here. So yeah, let's, uh, which one do we do it in? Hmm. This one seems nicer. Or wait, fish? Naval supplies? Yeah, let's go ahead and state this. And then to move our capital here, 339. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's wait for more admin points. Of course, now I'm losing loads of money, so I need to start collecting in uh, Lubeck. Yeah, ideally, I would have gotten like 800 admin and then done it, but uh, I was just impatient. Now we're losing money again. I worked so hard this entire campaign to make us rich, and now we're just poor again. I think Norway is, is destined to be poor. That's the only reason I don't like them, bro. That's the only reason I think they're one of the worst nations. It's just the economic situation is so horrible as Norway. But I think that's it, because we do have the points to move our capital to Chisedek over here in Canada. Boom, there we go, just like that. Our capital is in the region of Canada. Nice name placement, by the way, and uh, that fulfills the second requirement. Now all we need to do is not have any provinces in Scandinavia. So what we're going to do right here is release Iceland, release Sapmi, release Denmark, release Karelia, release Sweden, release no Novgorod or whoever and now these are the only provinces I have excellent of course all of these guys are going to be disloyal right but let's give a uh, that me right here some provinces there we go just like that yeah we're going to give them a bunch since uh, Sweden is already slow uh, so disloyal but uh there we go there's almost all of the provinces in uh, mainland scandinavia done uh just like that there we go we don't own any more provinces here now the only provinces left are these which can be given to iceland by the way via the sea tile uh so there's iceland wait i can just placate these guys can't i i'm so powerful but uh yeah there's iceland there's grand province the pharaohs orkney and shetland and uh if i unpause i think i should get that achievement so let me stop recording the game and remove the cam okay there we go let's unpause there it is let it go starting as norway have your capital in the canada region while not owning any provinces in scandinavia I uh, decided to remove the cam once again, just like last time, because surprisingly, a lot of you enjoyed seeing the achievement pop up behind me, which uh, I've never actually caught on camera until uh, the previous video. But there it is. That's it. That's uh, this campaign done. I'm so tired. But yeah, there you go, man. Start off as Norway in the provinces that Norway starts off in. Did a pretty easy independence war with the help of Sweden, Burgundy, and uh, Lithuania right here. I declared it myself, which uh, meant that I managed to occupy a lot of provinces. We took this from Denmark over here. Then uh, Sweden got involved in some Burgundian shenanigans versus France and Austria, which enabled me and these boys down here to pounce on them. Uh, expanded into Sweden after that. Slow and steady wars versus Sweden versus Denmark versus Sweden versus Denmark. Didn't really fight anyone else. Well, we did fight Novgorod and uh, Muscovy a little bit, but uh, yeah, overall, the start was pretty straightforward. The, that was the easy part. Then the hard part came where we needed to manage the abysmal economic situation as nowhere we at the start. The way you fix that, I guess, is by expanding more into these guys. But really what you want to do is this mission right here. Uh, restore the infrastructure, which enables us to spawn a bunch of copper and uh, copper or iron provinces. And then, of course, we got the event uh, to spawn gold in our capital right here, which uh, really did fix our economic situation. Of course, I was way behind on tech as well. Let me see my tech right now. 7, 11, 11. So I'm super behind on admin. But at one point, we were the only red nation on this map in the entirety of Europe because uh, I got a bad ruler and a bad heir after that. I, I couldn't even disinherit them. And of course, I didn't have money to hire advisors but uh yeah sort of around 50 years into the game we did fix our economic situation it's just that it's so slow getting started as norway right and I, you guys know i like to expand really rapidly right at the start of course you guys know i love 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 playing with loans being on the verge of what is possible with uh income and expenses but uh yeah as norway is just really hard to get the ball rolling and uh you're sort of stuck paying a bunch of interest and stuff like that but overall, a pretty fun campaign nonetheless, and pretty chill as well. Built a bunch of marketplaces, built a bunch of production buildings, a bunch of churches as well. Army buildings uh, nowhere, actually. And uh, yeah, not too much focus on the economy. Dev this up to 15 at one point. Of course, it's depleted. It depleted down to 8. I bumped it back up. But uh, yeah, wiped out everyone in Scandinavia, except for Goatland, which was my vassal, of course. Could have even formed Scandinavia. I didn't do it, because I don't know if we would have gotten that achievement. But uh, yeah, after doing all of that, after, honestly... 
needlessly getting exploration expansion i would have done much better with economic and trade let me tell you that uh to manage the loans and to up the income but uh yeah after moving our capital to south georgia down here that enabled us to move our capital over to canada we did that there it is in this one province right here and after releasing everyone here we finally got this achievement and uh yeah new achievement i think it was added in lands of the north like i said no way i'm doing norwegian wood that this is an achievement type that i hate doing a uh, basically world conquest stand up uh, yeah even though there was some troubling parts at least for me uh you know the income and stuff like that uh it was still a pretty fun and uh, chill and straightforward campaign with uh let's be real not too much pain but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i'm happy to say that this campaign as norway in a to z has been a success and that has been norway in a to z let me know in the comments below what i should do with this nation next week if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.